Fine, but it shows up better uh, in a uh, vertical position. If I'm going to do a specific local traction, I can get a hold of the fifth cervical vertebra by coming along the lamina, down the spinous process. This hand comes round so that I'm going to come across to hook behind the spinous process and around the lamina. So in a seated position, it would look like this. I'm going to hold C6 down, and I'm going to lift C5 up, which is very easy on a classic model, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Okay, so now that's what we're going to do, and then we'll do the same thing from here, holding C6 down, moving C5 up. Okay? Now, let's do... Uh, we're going to do it both ways for Brad. I don't know which way he did it. I think he did it in supine, but why don't you come up? This is not a carton, so let's do this. Sit right there for me, please. Okay, so two, three, four, five. So I can get a hold of C6 here. You want the patient stable, so I'm going to come around and I'm going to hook around the lamina and spinous process of C5 with the top hand. C6 has got to be held down. Gravity's helped me out there. So I'm using two hands here, my pec, and the second hand coming around. And now the movement's going to be purely vertical. So C6 is held down by the right hand, C5 comes up with me, and that movement comes through my torso. I'm not doing this. Too hard of work and ineffective. So from here my body is coming up millimeters, because that's all he's got. So now I think what Brett really did in the case would be this. Can you lie supine please? We can do that exact same thing you just saw. You got to stop eating pasta. The table is working hard. <laughs> okay, so two, three, four, five. So I'm going to get a hold of C5 wrapped around the lamin on either side. C6 is going to do the same thing on the caudal side. It's going to hold. So I get a grip as soft with my hands but as firm in a caudal direction with six as I can. Now my movement is going to be with my body. My third hand is here. My pec on top of the forehead. So now the movement is going to be a weight shift backward with my whole body except for my left hand. So that I can effectively get more separation between 5 and 6 than I'm going to get, for example, with the generic manual traction setup. And that was our questions on the board. He had a patient with uh, rheumatoid arthritis, and we all said, should you be doing traction? And he said, well, I'm doing it at 5'6", right. the upper cervical safe, so that's why we needed him to show us that technique. Okay. I was